telling the time. Starry, you have such a beautiful clock in your hand. But why do you look so sad? Don't you know how to tell the time? Oh, don't worry. I will teach you. Telling the time when the minute hand is on 12. Starry, look at your clock. The minute hand is the big hand and the hour hand is the small hand. Here the minute hand is on 12 and the hour hand is on 2. So, the time is on. 2 o'clock. Now, the minute hand is on 12 and the hour hand is on 6. So, the time is 6 o'clock. Here, the minute hand is on 12. But the hour hand has shifted to 8. So, Starry, the time is now 8 o'clock. Let us do an interesting activity. Look at the clock. And write the time in the box below. The time shown in the first clock is 3 o'clock. The time shown in the second clock is 5 o'clock. The time shown in the third clock is 7 o'clock. The time shown in the fourth clock is 10 o'clock. Telling the time when the minute hand is on 3. Now, let us learn how to tell the time when the minute hand is on 3. In this clock, the minute hand is on 3 and the hour hand has passed 1. So, we say that the time is a quarter past 1. And in this clock story, the minute hand is on 3 but the hour hand has passed 6. So, the time is a quarter past 6. Here's another clock story in which the minute hand is on 3 but the hour hand has passed 8. So, the time is a quarter past 8. Now, let us revise what we have learned. Look at the clocks and write the time. The first clock shows a quarter past 11. The second clock shows a quarter past 12. The third clock shows a quarter past 5. The fourth clock shows a quarter past nine.
good. Now, match the time with the clock. The first clock shows a quarter past two. The second clock shows a quarter past ten. The third clock shows a quarter past seven. The fourth clock shows a quarter past three. Revision Story Let us revise how to tell the time when the minute hand is on 12 and when it is on 3. Story Write the time as shown by the clock. Good story. You have done a great job. Now, let us learn how to tell the time when the minute hand is on 6. Look at this clock story. Here, the minute hand is on 6 and the hour hand is between 2 and 3. So, we say that the time is half past 2. Now, let us keep the minute hand on 6 and shift the hour hand between 6 and 7. Now the time is half past six. Oh, Starry! Now you have kept the minute hand on six and the hour hand is between ten and eleven. So the time is half past ten. Let us do an activity. Look at the clock and write the time. The first clock shows half past eight. The second clock shows half past five. The third clock shows half past twelve. The fourth clock shows half past nine. Now let us do something interesting. The cartoon serial begins at half past four. The cartoon serial ends at half past five. Children went out to play at Half past three. Children returned from play at half past seven. Revision Story Come on, let us revise telling the time. Write the time as shown by the clock. Now, 
Very good, Starry. Now, let us teach you how to read the time when the minute hand is on nine. Telling the time when the minute hand is on nine. Look at this clock. The minute hand is on nine and the hour hand is between twelve and one, but closer to one. The time is a quarter to one. Now, the minute hand is on nine and the hour hand is between five and six. So, the time is a quarter to six. Look at the clock now. Here again, the minute hand is on nine, but the hour hand is between eleven and twelve. So, the time is a quarter to twelve. Let us now revise what we have learned. Look at the clock and write the time. The time on the first clock is a quarter to eight. The time on the second clock is a quarter to three. The time on the third clock is a quarter to eleven. The time on the fourth clock is a quarter to one.